Hello everyone, we are back at the Mumford Garden. Well, I am. Diana's not with me today. She's out in the studio making some artwork stuff. Um, but I'm here just to uh, do a little bit of harvesting. I uh, wanted to give you guys a look at what it's like when I show up, usually looking a little bit overgrown. I know Annie told me that something fell over. I can see it. Um, but yeah, trains are here today getting serviced or something, so this sound's gonna be kinda bad, but uh, let's get closer and see what we got going on. So this is the pepper and onion plot. Uh, a lot of our onions got killed, but uh, our one big boy's still doing well. We ended up getting some peppers that we weren't, uh, I'm actually kinda surprised that we're getting these yellow peppers. I had no idea that we'd planted them. I thought that we were gonna be getting all jalapeno. Like that bad boy right there, that thing's gonna be quite tasty. I think we'll be canning them with some of our other carrots. Uh, but, mm, I don't know. Maybe if I dig deeper, I'll find some more, but it's not looking too good. I'll show you the harvest um, later. So this is uh, what must have fallen over. I should have guessed that it was a yellow pear. The yellow pears have uh, really done some damage to this garden. Uh, they're great as far as having a bunch of fruit show up, but uh, they grow crazy viney. And long you can see that we're sort of intruding over in the next space over here so um, probably had to try to figure out a way to get this thing erected after I grab some of the, the fruit uh, but as I said they make a crazy amount of tomatoes so we're looking forward to uh, canning some of these down here you can see some of our black cherry tomatoes are starting to change color so I'll be taking some of those home uh, here's another yellow pear that uh, they knocked over its its cage. They tend to do that. Uh, this is the second plot. You can see we got some uh, regular old Roma looking type tomatoes. So we'll be taking some of those home. I found the uh, Italian ice. It's right there. I have a feeling some of those are going to get left behind because you can hardly tell the difference between that and a not ripe tomato. So basically the way this worked is when we came here last week, or sorry, two weeks ago, this place was a complete mess, everything was on the ground. So we did two different things for the different beds. Um, this bed was mostly with cages. The, uh, the kind of cages, like this one, they have four sides and they fold up. Uh, some of them are doing better than others. This one's holding up. This is actually three cages on like I'd say four or five plants. Uh, we also had this ringy type one that uh, worked out. I don't even know if you can see it amongst all the other branchy stuffs. Um, but over here, what we ended up doing was we had a bunch of these uh, fence posts. These fence posts. And we basically just held up all the, the different branches of the, the things and just tied them up towards the top and then sometimes towards the middle. And uh, I have to say, after two weeks, this, this one looks way more organized than the other one. Um, so I guess I would recommend that if you have an out-of-control garden, just uh, put some really strong steel in there and, and tie some stuff up. We'll see how it plays out uh, as weeks go by. But yeah, so there's plenty of stuff coming home with us, coming home with me today. Uh, I'm happy to have some uh, black cherry stuff. I'm going to sign off because I'm getting eaten up and I just want to get out of here.